Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, we're continuing with the practice GCSE exam questions. We're on uh, question 4, page 4, and these questions are about adhesives. So the, the first question says, which glue sticks together two pieces of acrylic? So if we had two pieces of acrylic like this and we were going to stick them together, we would use um, this one down here, which is 10 sol, 10 sol cement. So if, if, if we look at the 10 sol cement, it's actually, as I say, it says dichloromethane on there, and um, it needs to be used in a well ventilated area. That is because it's actually a solvent. So what it does when we put, put the um, 10 sol on there, we push the two pieces of glue together, a piece of acrylic together. They, um, they actually, it softens the acrylic, they melt together and then when the um, solvent has evaporated it leaves the two pieces welded together. So it's that they're actually welded rather than stuck with the glue because the glue evaporates. So that is 10 sol cement. The next, it says what glue would you use on a finger joint? Um, I suppose that really should have said pine. Uh, perhaps if we were doing something with this, this like this, a softwood um, finger joint. And that, of course, would be this one down here, which is the PVA glue. And it says, explain its advantages. So if we look at the PVA glue here, and if we just take the top off here and look, and we can see that the PVA is, is white in color, but it actually dries transparent. So one of the advantages is that it, it dries transparent, so it, it doesn't show up in the joint on the wood. The other advantage might be that it's water soluble, so that if you get a little bit of excess there, you can wipe it off. So I'm gonna just put dries um, clear and can be off. I think that's really two. We're, we're, it, it does say three marks there, so perhaps that would be good to give those three. It might be one mark, one mark, one mark. So that, that's our answer there. PVA glue dries clear, wiped off with a damp cloth. And last of all, which glue would you use to stick together mild steel and acrylic? Well, when we've got um, two different uh, two different uh, materials, the best thing for doing there, so if we're sticking perhaps a piece of acrylic here and a piece of mild steel, um, and that would be epoxy resin. So if we look at this, this is Araldite, which is a, the sort of, I suppose, the main brand of epoxy resin. And we've got, a, a, if we've got part A and part B, so you've actually got the adhesive and a hardener. And you mix them together. That should give you a little piece of um, plastic and a little tray there to mix them together. You mix those together, and then that will harden. It says in five minutes there. And it will actually harden underwater. So it's a totally waterproof glue. Um, you could almost as Araldite, almost like Hoover, has become synonymous with epoxy resin, so you could um, you could put Araldite in it as an answer, and I think probably would get a mark for that in GCSE. So that is um, page four, question four, and that is adhesives. Thank you for watching.